I'm Mike Rorta with Review.com. Uh, we're here with the new MacBook Pro with the Retina display. Uh, talk a little bit about the difference between resolution and uh, PPI or pixels per inch and why that makes a difference and what you need to consider. Um, first of all, Retina doesn't mean any specific resolution. It's actually just Apple's marketing speak for you can't make out the individual pixels on a particular display that you're looking at. Um, the MacBook Pro actually has the highest resolution of any of the devices that we have here. I've got a MacBook Pro, uh, Samsung's Galaxy Nexus phone, the, the newest Nexus phone, and the iPad 3. The uh, MacBook Pro's resolution is 2880 by 1800. Uh, that's across a 15 inch display so that gives you a pixel per inch of about 220 pixels per inch. That'll be important in a minute. Uh, the Galaxy Nexus has the lowest resolution. It's 720 by 1280. Its pixel per inch, though, is a lot higher because the screen is so small. It's only 4.7 inches tall. So its pixels per inch is 316. The iPad 3 is uh, in smack dab in the middle of the road. It has a resolution of 2048 by 1536, and its pixels per inch is 264. Um, so let's talk a little bit about why, that, why that's important. The, the real sort of brass tacks of it is, the smaller a device is, the more you're going to want the pixels per inch number to be higher. Um, you're going to want to mash those pixels together uh, so that they're less discernible because you're going to be holding the device closer to your face to try and make out what's on it. So on things like a cell phone, you want a higher pixel per inch so that you can't actually look and see, okay, you know, there's a jagged edge or there's, uh, you know, lines on text. Um, so the higher it is on a phone, the better. There's really no point in having an extremely large uh, pixel per inch number on a laptop like this because you're not going to have the screen that close to your face. Um, so that makes sense. This one's 316. It's the smallest device that we have. This one, the iPad 3, is uh, two, 264. Um, and this, you clearly would be holding a little bit closer than you would a normal laptop. Um, so that makes sense for uh, you know a tablet like this. And I think it still has some of the highest um, for a tablet. Uh, and the computer, while having the highest resolution, the highest number of pixels, it's spread out over a larger space, so it actually is the lowest. Um, so a little information there about resolution and pixel per inch. Uh, hope you'll check out the full review of the new MacBook Pro, MacBook Pro with Retina Display at Review.com.